hi guys how are you guys doing welcome you all to my channel today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut a v scrub neckline without a cutting table at all okay so first thing is i folded my fabric into four as you can see and then i have like an extra fabric that we are going to use for the neckline we also have a uh, tape measure scissors tape rule and also like the body measurement because you need that also so um basically this is what it looks like and this video is just to show you guys how to create content or how to sew on the floor in a very limited space just in case if you don't have like a very big space okay and i hope this video helps you guys as much as it does so first thing is we are going to go ahead now to mark our basic measurements and just in case if you don't know i have comprehensive size charts that has to do with all body size and measurements which is available and the link is in the description box below if you are also interested in knowing like what body measurements or what size you fall under i have a detailed tutorial i'm going to link it under so at this point i'm going ahead now to mark the basic measurements shoulder to bust we have nine and a half inches bust to waist we have nine inches waist to hip we have nine inches and this is what it looks like so now for your shoulder measurements there are two ways in which you can achieve your shoulder measurements you can take your measurement directly or you can add your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve measurement to give you the total length you will fold for your kaftan okay it all depends on you so i've gone ahead now to mark like the bust measurement which is your bust measurement divided by four plus two your waist measurement divided by four plus two and also your hip measurement divided by four plus two so at this point you are going to determine like how free do you want your kaftan to be or how fitted do you want it to be that will determine how many inches you are going to add to your exact measurement to give you you know the freeness of your kaftan and this basically varies on how free you want it to be so for me i added five inches across all measurements so for my bust measurements i added five inches for my waist measurements i added five inches and for my hip measurements i also added five inches and one thing about like this kaftan or cutting a kaftan dress is that it passes across you know so many sizes so i've gone ahead to just extend my hip line all the way to my gown length because that's what we are going to have at the down part so the next thing now we are going to do which is the most important thing for this kaftan dress is to go ahead and cut out our neckline and also to give you that scrub effect so for the wideness of my neckline i made use of three inches by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have three and a half inches and for the deepness i made use of six and a half for the front and for the back i have one and a half inches so by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have you know two inches i've also gone ahead to mark one inches and just you know connect it in a slope form to give us a shoulder slope now the essence of your shoulder slope is basically to make sure that your shoulder sits well now i've gone ahead to also connect our waistline to our shoulder in a curved form just as you can see so you don't have a very sharp effect at that point so the next thing now we are basically going to do is to go ahead and cut out the neckline the back neckline cut out your shoulder slope and also go ahead and cut out like your measurements please at this point if you have any question go ahead and drop the questions below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe after cutting it this is basically what we have so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and separate it together i'm going to separate the back block from the front block before i cut out the neckline of the front piece so for me i basically do this so i don't make a mistake of cutting out you know a deep neckline for the back but 
like i said it all depends on you so at this point now i've taken out the backlog and i'm just going ahead to like rearrange my front piece make sure my front measurements are equal make sure the fabric is properly laid while i go ahead and you know cut out the neckline for the front piece which is where we are going to have our scrum effect as usual so basically let me know what kind of video you guys want to see or what tutorial should i cut next in the comment section so at this point i went ahead to increase the deepness of my front piece i made it about you know eight inches instead of six inches earlier and also i marked one inch this just enables you to be able to get the scrum effect so you basically have your um your neckline and you mark one inch and then you connect it to your shoulder this way because it's a scrum effect so this is what you are basically going to have more like a v-shape but you have like one inch so go ahead now and just cut this out carefully which i'm going to do and then i'll show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day so after cutting it out you can see what our neckline looks like i'll go ahead and open it Look at this crummy face look at how it sits it's always very beautiful and if you're looking at you know running or starting up a ready to wear dress i feel like booboo dresses are one of the things you can start up to be able to sell very simple for beginner very easy and also you can also you know make money or start off your brand so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead with the extra fabric which we are using to design the neckline and what i'm going to do is i'm basically just going to go ahead now and fold the fabric into two and just like cut it now just so you guys will be able to understand it better i'll show you guys what i have to do now so for the wideness of this i'm making use of three inches for the wideness um and i also need one inch for my sewing allowance which simply means i have four inches by the time i fold it into two i'm going to have two inches and by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have one three inches right so for the length don't forget that for our neckline we made this of eight inches for the deepness of our neckline so for this piece now i have 10 inches by 4 inches for the length i have about 10 inches and for the wideness i have 4 inches once i fold it this way i'm going to have 2 inches and of course we have 2 pieces of this for the neckline okay <laughs> so now and the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this on the neckline so you guys can see what it basically looks like so you are going to take one piece place it at one side of the neck this way and also like place the other piece on the second side of the neckline and look at what it looks like so this is basically how to sew it fold it into two so you can have that effect and then go ahead and stitch it all the way to where your neckline ends and for the other part also you go ahead and do the same please thank you so much for watching up to this point i will appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up you know like share subscribe and don't forget if you have any question at all please 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 feel free in the comment section to drop your comments and let me know what topic or what part of this tutorial don't you really understand and of course i'm going to be here to be able to explain better and to be able to answer every of your questions so after stitching this now or before i stitch this i'll just go ahead and pin it down just so it can sit properly before i stitch it and also you guys can have a clear view of what it looks like and you are stitching this on the front piece of your fabric you can see what it looks like by the time you flip it you are stitching this on the front piece of your fabric so by the time you stitch it you are going to have this this is what it looks like very easy to stitch now for the other part also you are definitely going to do the same 
I'll also go ahead now and just pin it down so you guys can see what it looks like let me know like do you guys cut on the floor like do you cut on the floor or do you find it very difficult to cut if you don't have a cutting table i feel like this video is basically to show you guys like reality of how some of us actually make dresses and this is basically because like i have a small space and i am a student so this is how i basically cut currently and it's okay for me to show you guys like the real reality of what life looks like cutting so now this is what it looks like you can see but you're not going to have that flap puffing out you know in the front you're not going to have it puffing out after stitching it i'll show you guys what next you have to do so i'll go ahead now and set that aside now the next thing i have to do is to go ahead and cut out the facing for the back piece while we come back to the front piece so for the facing of the back piece you can see like we have like a round neckline you can decide to make yours like a square neckline you know a round neckline it totally depends on the design of what you want which is actually very simple so for the back piece now i will take out a fabric and then go ahead and fold the fabric into two as you can see in the picture once i fold it into two i will take the dress and place it on that fabric i'll take the dress and then place it on that fabric once i place it on the fabric i'll go ahead and cut out the neckline as you guys are going to see i'm just tracing out the neckline so i can cut it out on the fabric I'm going to mark four inches all the way and like just to cut out the facing so you can use four inches five inches six inches like i said it depends on what you want to achieve you can make yours a square shape or a round shape it totally depends on what you want so I'll basically just go ahead now and then cut this out after cutting it out i'll show you guys what i have so so the next thing is go ahead and place your facing on your fabric then go ahead and stitch it after stitching it you flip it to the back because you want to use your facing to turn your neckline so back to the front piece now i've gone ahead to stitch it and also to weave it you also have to ensure that you weave your dresses or you like interlock your dresses not only does it make your dresses to be perfect but it also gives like a very neat finishing and let me tell you guys if you are starting up your business please pay 100 percent attention to details and also how clean your work is you know that just helps you to like target the right audience regardless of where you are cutting or how you are cutting so this is what it looks like and also at this point go ahead and iron it i've also ironed it on the ironing board so it can lay well and also flip well as you can see so the next thing we'll just do is to go ahead and stock that at the back you know flip that to the back and then stock it at the back so it doesn't affect what you have on the front so now cross it on each other and then stitch it to the back of the dress this way you can see what i'm doing like cross it at the back and then stitch it once you stitch it that way it's going to hold it down but make sure it's done at the back block so guys after stitching it look at what it looks like go ahead and then join the shoulders together and join the sides together and your beautiful kaftan is ready i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye